Hi guys, Sunday afternoon, it's already been a weekend and a half, um, first day evening, little M comes down with a chicken pox, Friday morning, um, shock result referendum, um, and this morning we had to save a little birdie from the claws of our cat. He should be fine, hopefully I found somebody fairly local who looks after birds, not just some random person, and uh, will give it some antibiotics and... Um, hopefully at some point be able to release it. So very grateful to have found that person. Um, little M is already getting much, much better, better. So I'm thinking a couple more days and we should be back to normal and um, back into preschool. And um, the other thing, no idea, but um, yes, we shall just see, shall we? Right, but anyway, that's not why you tuned in here. You want to hear about the Mulberry Polly push lock in midnight, <laughs> shiny grain leather. I'm reading that off. On the side of the screen there. Um, Mulberry's Poly Push Lock range um, were a few bags and a couple of purses. The bags were, um, I think they came out in, was it Autumn Winter 11? I'm pretty sure. It was definitely Autumn Winter, I think it was 11. Um, so we have the Toad, um, which is, you can just carry by these two handles. I'll go through the, um, through the details in a bit. Then we had a satchel, which was smaller, maybe about this size, with a long strap, long enough to carry crossbody. And then there was a smaller satchel, which was um, about yay big, quite small. Um, and again, with a long strap, all distinctive um, through that big push lock. Um, I'm trying to remember, but I think the push lock was roughly the same size in all of them, so it's quite, big and chunky and pronounced and very distinctive and on the back I think they also all had this long zip which again is secured with this little rather dinky cute push lock there. Um, the top handles on the little ones as well were like this, really sturdy, I think it's a saddle leather, really nice. The leathers that came in was, um, so this one is the Midnight Chinese Grey which is like a um, a navy then there was a pumpkin which is sort of orangey and i think conquer which is uh, almost kind of like ox bloody um which i can't think of it but you know what i mean the burgundy ox blood kind of color so polly push hook toad should we just take some measurements first and then i'll show you what fits in and the individual features so we've got a width of about 38, 38 and a half centimeters, yeah. Height. <laughs> See, that's live TV for you. I'm not gonna do this again now. Good job I caught that. Um, height from the very top here to there is about 10, uh, sorry, 30 centimeters. Um, but you can see the bits there is higher. So if I just measure sort of the space that you would actually fill up, is about 25 and a half centimeters and depth at the bottom about 16 centimeters and you couldn't see that so I promise you it was about 16 centimeters um, it does come just with these straps so um, the handle drop or the back drop is only about seven centimeters um, not even I can really get this comfortably on my shoulder um, the fact that these are held in there with those rings means you could potentially maybe clip something else in there and carry it with a long strap. But I don't really think it'll, it was created for that, so not sure. So it's primarily to be carried like a toad, like this, maybe like that. And actually, um, they are reasonably comfortable. These. even though they're quite hard they they're soft enough for you to carry them like that I would say now um, shall we well empty it first show you what fits in and then I'll show you all of the features what have I got in there I've packed it for a I would I would say sort of like work day but my work um, laptop is actually slightly bigger so I, I packed it on the assumption that I've got a job somewhere where I carry my MacBook with me However, my MacBook is right there recording me, so I put something in there that um, in which the MacBook would live. So anyway, I'll show you. 
So I'm going out of the house in the morning and at the moment it's quite cold in the morning then I'm stand, standing at the train station and I still want to wear my scarf and when I come home in the afternoon it's really warm so um, I'm really glad if I always have somewhere where I can shove my scarf so it fits in easily here. Taking out my scarf, I'm taking out my multi sip, my mulberry multi sip pouch in which I have some paperwork I need to sort out. Um, couple of pen things, so refills for my pen and stuff, a couple of tampons, tablets, lip balm, and I don't know whether there's anything in here, no there's nothing in there, oh and my inhalers, both of my inhalers are in there. So just really good way of keeping um, all these small bits and bobs organised. I'm taking out my um, private mobile and my work mobile and I just realized I forgot to put my keys in but they would have fitted in there somewhere. I'm taking out my little Nomo zip bag in which I have all the various charger cables, um, also my headphones and what comes with this little zip bag is a charger. If um, I'm between meetings and I don't have my laptop with me and I need to urgently charge one of my phones I can do that with that, it's really really good. Or when I'm going back on the train um, I'm not, I don't have a dead device on me, I can just recharge it. So really really handy for all of that. And this is actually what I carry around with me quite often from meeting to meeting. I've got some change in there as well. Do I still? Let's make sure. Yeah. So. Um, <clears throat> If I'm between meetings and I will just pop past the coffee shop or whatever, I can buy a coffee and I don't have to carry my whole purse around with me. So I usually wander around with my laptop under my arm and this. There we go. Then I've got my purse, which is my mulberry French purse in oak, which is getting really nice um, patina. There we go. I've got my um, Traveller's Notebook sized um, Van der Speeg Nomad which holds a couple of inserts and bits and bobs that I print out and carry around with me. I have got my um, Naked Cow um, Traveller's Notebook in was that personal size, passport size? I don't know. But these inserts are the field note sides from Claire Fontaine, um, where I do all my sort of private to do lists and things like that. My bullet journal essentially, and there's a pen attached to that as well. Coletto. Um, that's it there. And then, just to show that it fits, my MacBook could sit in there which is, and I tried it with the MacBook in, so I'm not cheating too much, which is, I think, um, what did they call them? So it's a Mulberry um, Base Water laptop sleeve, I guess. Um, I'll show you that another time, but essentially I tried it earlier just with the MacBook, and obviously it does fit in. So just to show you, the Poly Push Lock Tote, you can get a MacBook inside. Um, and maybe I would even put it in there without the sleeve. I just obviously couldn't because that's what I'm using there. Um, also what I have in there, a little zip pocket in the back, is my work pass and my train tickets. And I think that's it. Yep. So, oh no, hold on, hold on. Front pocket, the poly push lock pocket. What have we got in there? With shopping bag and tissues. You know, I always carry tissues, of course. Right, so I'm going to show you quickly the features of the bag then. We've got the big pocket in the front, really roomy, really nice for stuff that you want to get to um, quite easily. We've got, the inside is fully lined, can I get some light? Mm. Fully lined in the tree fabric. Um, we've got a slip pocket there in which I have both of my mobiles. We've got a zip pocket here. Yeah. Um, there you go, you've got the fob and the mulberry imprint. Um, and on the back, we've got that little, cute little dinky. Hmm. 
it's quite hard when the bag is empty. It's actually really easy. I should have done it when it was full. And you've got another really big, and because of that push rod, quite secure um, compartment for a few, I would say, flat bits and bobs. I probably wouldn't put anything too bulky in there. Um, but there you go. So there's your poly push lock toad. Um, don't really know what else to say. Really nice, um, a little bit quirky, everyday work bag if you're not bothered about carrying it on your shoulder or cross body. Um, fits loads, probably quite a good sort of um, shopping bag as well if you don't have kids and need to, you know, be able to run after them. But um, I'm a big fan of the poly push lock range anyway. Anyway, so hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think. Bye.